If you're like everyone else, you've run an internet speed test with one of your devices before. This is something I recently ran on my laptop, and one thing that stood out to me was the fact that my download speed was much higher than my upload speed. I tried this on both a Wi-Fi connection as well as connecting to the internet with an ethernet connection. I got the same results. There was a big discrepancy between the download and upload speeds of my internet connection. Of course, this led me to wonder why this might be the case, so I decided to dive a little bit further into it. In this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to dive into why your upload speed is much slower than your download speed, and whether or not this is something you should be concerned about. Before we dive too far into this topic, it's important we get on the same page. It's important that you have an understanding of the differences between upload speed and download speed. In general, upload speed is needed when you are sending data to the internet, and download speed is needed in the reverse direction, when you're downloading something from the internet to your device. If you'd like some more information about this topic, I've previously created a video that dives into the details about upload versus download speed. All right, let's cut right to the chase here. The reason why your upload speed is so much slower than your download speed is due to the type of internet connection you have in your home. The vast majority of people in today's day and age have what's called cable internet. This is internet that's provided from your internet service provider to your home over a coaxial cable. These coaxial cables were the same cables used to deliver cable internet to many people's homes. They're still used for that in many cases today, but they also provide connections to the internet. So these coaxial cables and the wires between your internet service provider and your home, they have a limited amount of data that you can send through them at a given point in time. Another term for this is bandwidth. So with this restriction on the total amount of data or bandwidth that can be sent from your internet service provider to your home, your internet service provider has to make some decisions about how much bandwidth they wanna allocate for each of these activities, whether it be uploads or downloads. This is why your internet connection has much slower upload speeds compared to download speeds. This is because your internet service provider is allocating a lot more bandwidth for download activities than upload activities. So this begs the question, why is this happening? Why is your internet service provider only allocating a small portion of the available bandwidth for upload activities compared to download activities? The reason for this is that the average internet user has much more download needs than upload needs when it comes to their internet connection. Just think about it. How often are you watching a YouTube video or streaming your favorite TV show? Compare that with activities that require upload speeds, such as uploading files to the internet or attending a Zoom meeting or uploading a YouTube video. I'm willing to bet that more often than not, you're downloading much more often than you're uploading. Not only are your download activities happening much more frequently, they also require more bandwidth. They're more data intensive. For example, a common upload activity is requesting a web page to the internet, saying, I want to see google.com. That request requires very little bandwidth as opposed to downloading a video or streaming a video from the internet. That requires a lot more bandwidth, so the internet service provider has that in mind. They're making data-driven decisions based upon what their customers are doing and that's what determines their allocation for upload speed versus download speed. I'm willing to bet in the vast majority of cases, you would rather have more download speed than upload speed. Even in my cases where I'm uploading YouTube videos occasionally, I do those maybe once a week or every few days, and it takes a little bit of time to upload the file, yes, but I'd rather have that take a lot more time than every time I watch a YouTube video having it take a few minutes to load. The important thing to recognize here is that your internet service provider, they know what they're doing. They see the activity that all their customers are partaking in and they're making decisions based upon that. Is this bandwidth allocation upload versus download? Is that ideal for everybody? 
Maybe not, but the bottom line is it's probably optimal for the vast majority of their customers. So this begs the question, is there any way around this? Is there anything you can do to change this ratio of upload versus download speed for your internet plan? Believe it or not, there are actually two things you can do. The first is you can usually change your internet plan. Your internet service provider usually offers an upgrade to your plan that offers more upload speeds. The thing to keep in mind here is that you'll probably still have a much higher download speed than upload speed, but you still have the ability to improve your upload speed if that's something you're doing frequently in your home network. The other thing you can do, and this all depends upon the infrastructure around your home, is that if you upgrade to fiber internet, a fiber internet connection, because of the allowed bandwidth with fiber cables between your home and your internet service provider, you'll actually get the same speed when it comes to upload speeds and download speeds. This is a video for another time, but just know that if you have high upload requirements, one thing you can do is upgrade to a fiber internet connection and then you'll get the same upload and download speeds. At this point, you should have a good understanding why your upload speed is slower than your download speed, but you should also understand the decisions that your internet service provider is making to give you an optimal internet experience. If you have any questions about this information, please drop a comment below. If you found this video insightful, please give it a like. And if you'd like to follow along with me on my YouTube journey here as I continue to put out more videos, please subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching this video from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.